Okay guys, so uh, I got these cars. There was, we went to a car show and there was a guy selling cars there, like little Hot Wheels cars. And uh, so that's what these are. This one's from this year. This bag here, I'm on the squeaky chair, so bear with me. This one here is from last year. I uh, never got around to making a video for it and I'm pretty sure that not all the cars that I got that year are in this bag because I don't think there's very many in here. But I got this one this year. I just have it out because uh, I was looking at it earlier and what's wrong with my lights? And um, uh, I was looking the uh, front wheels bent a little bit, a lot of bit. <laughs> I can fix it, but um, and that wheel broke off the corner of the bumper, so I have to glue that back on. And you know, this little, come on, focus. This little corner on the uh, bumper here. It's a really, really detailed Hummer, though, like for this scale, and. With it having Cleveland Cavaliers on it, I thought it was a white rose collectible, and I was like, "This is way too, uh, way too nice to." I shouldn't say way too nice, way too detailed to be a white rose. And as it turned out, it was not a white rose. It was. Um, let me finish showing it to you, and then I'll figure out. FLIR. It was a FLIR collectibles, which also make trading cards. Uh, this is a 2003 Hummer H2. It's got nice, very, very authentic looking wheels on it. And uh, then it's got rubber tires on it. Really nice model of a Hummer. If, like, um, if you guys are looking for a Hummer to do a custom on, I'd Look for a Fleer Collectibles Hummer. I mean, like, this is super detailed for, um, you know, for a, a Hummer, uh, for, for the, this scale of Hummer, um, that's available. Because, to my knowledge, Greenlight doesn't make a Hummer, and obviously M2 doesn't. I don't think M2 makes any new cars. So, I'm going to put this off to the side so that I don't lose that little piece. Because that's going to be hard to, oops, that's going to be hard to glue on anyway. So pretty much what's in the package is, is going to stay in the package. That might come out, but I'll just pull these out first and we can get those out of the way. That didn't come in there, I stuck that in there. Okay, everything else is... All right. So obviously these are all from the mid to late 90s. This one's from 1998. Um, so this is from the X-Ray Cruiser series, the 67 Camaro. This is a really cool car that I actually have not seen before. Or if I have, I haven't realized that I saw it. It's a pretty cool paint job on it, and the wheels look good on it, too. Pretty cool um, decals on it. You know, you got your engine, and just, you know, it's just a pretty cool, uh, um, pretty cool car. And then on these Camaros, the hood opens, or at least on most of them, they do. So, hopefully I can find one of those um, out of the package. I'd like to see the other side of that. It may be just the same. Also, I always get the uh, Hot Wheels uh, race team cars. And um, I had not seen the Dragster before. In the, ra in the race team scheme, I, I didn't have one, I should say. I've seen them, but I didn't have one. So, I went ahead and bought it. The... Uh, Top of it's pretty plain. It's got a little Hot Wheels logo right there on the nose, but other than that, it's just a white stripe. Got the Hot Wheels logo on the side there. 
And then the spoiler on the back, um, kind of, as you can see in the corner, it says spoiler moves. What they mean by moves is it kind of, it goes from being, you know, upright to back a little bit. Um, if I had my other dragster handy, I'd show that to you, but I, I don't have it handy. So. This one's from 1994. So early 90s for this one. Uh, you can see how different the back of the um, package looks compared to this 1998. You know, 1998's got a picture for the track system and and all the copyright stuff down at the bottom. This one doesn't have any pictures on it, and not all of them were like that, but that one happens to be. And this one looks to be a uh, very early, sorry about the spooky chair, looks to be a very early 2000s by the uh, 2001. These are the ones that I grew up with as a little kid. You know, all the Hot Wheels had this packaging, type of packaging on there. Uh, this happens to be the Auburn 852. And I hadn't seen it in this paint scheme before, so I thought it was pretty cool. And I just noticed the pinstriping on it. That is pretty cool. Whoa. On that kind of boat tail on it. It's got the Hot Wheels logo there. No pinstriping on the side, but then it's got some on the hood too. If my lighting will... There you go, you can see. I do like the zoom on the new camera. It just doesn't always focus very good. So this is a casting they don't make anymore, unfortunately. I wish they still made this. Let's see. Oh yeah, we figured out this was 2001. Um, I think the rest of these are... Like this is from the early 90s. The Hummer. Hot Wheels called it the Hummer. And um, Matchbox called it a Humvee. This is... That's what it is. It's a Humvee. Or a Hummer. Whatever you want to call it. It's got two um, Hot Wheels logos, obviously facing opposite directions. The bodies on these are plastic, and the bases are metal. Um, in, in person, it's pretty easy to tell this is plastic. Maybe it is on the camera, too. I'm trying. I don't know what I threw on the floor, but I probably don't want to step on it. No, I don't. Sorry. Now, this is in the Race Team Series 3, so this is not in the same version. I can't talk tonight. Same series as the Dragster. This is Race Team Series. This is Race Team Series 3. This one's probably a little newer than that one, too. Okay, this is 96 versus the 90... Four. All right, then we got the uh, express lane for Floyd's Market. Always like this express lane. Um, this is probably from the late nineties, I would say. Yep, nineteen ninety-eight, and. Uh, it's got a little Hot Wheels logo on the back of the cart there. If you couldn't tell, it's a shopping cart with a engine in it. A heck of an engine in a shopping cart. And I, I have Express Lane, but I don't have the Floyd's Market version. Mine, mine just may say Hot Wheels. Mine's not real fancy. Then we have the 1998 first edition of Toe Jam. This one being all red with a Hot Wheels logo on the roof. That logo is really off center. I wonder if that's supposed to be like that or not. But then it 
this is obviously an accident, but it has a a um, drop of silver paint on the hood there. And I have the blue version of this uh, toe jam. I also have the dark red that had some pinstriping on it. Look, this wants to come out of the package, but it doesn't get to. I don't have toe jam in the package because usually I take them all out. <laughs> Then another 1998 first edition, we have the Dodge Concept car. Kind of a Viper-ish looking car. It's not a Viper, obviously, but it's kind of got that same feel to it. Kind of in between a, um, what did Chrysler call that, an Arctic? It looks kind of like a, between a, a Dodge Viper and a Chrysler Arctic, which they never made the Arctic. Ah. And I haven't actually seen this before, to my knowledge. Although sometimes I don't realize that I'm seeing them because they're not really what I'm looking for, usually. The 41 Willies were the 2000s first editions. The Wild Willie. This is a pretty cool paint job on this one here. I have not seen this one before. I'd really like to have one of these out of the package, too. And this may eventually come out of the package, but for now it's in the package. Really cool truck. And like I said, 2000. And let's finish up the packages with whatever packaged cars are in this we're gonna uh, finish up with the packaged cars from the other bag and just get those out of the way I do remember these and I I bought more than these I'm pretty sure last year but maybe not but I do remember these now on seeing them. The Boulevard Buccaneers uh, series shoebox. It's a Ford with a, uh, if you can see there, it's a Ford with a um, pirate on the side. It's got the skull and the swords. This one's dusty. There you can kind of see it's dusty. Now this is from 2003. This is in the Hot Wheels Highway 35. For their anniversary there. And um, Boulevard Buccaneers. I probably actually, judging by the... Uh, paint scheme on this. I guarantee I have some from that series. I think I have that one. But regardless of which one that it is that I do have. Um, no, I don't. I don't have that one. I have this one. The Anglia panel truck. But I don't really remember that series, but I must have some like that since I have that one. This is in the Pride Ride series, the 64 Buick Riviera from 2003. And like I said, these are the ones that I grew up with. They a lot, Most of them had this, this car on the front of it. I have a lot of versions of the um, Riviera, but I don't have the, I don't have this version. That's cool. It's got the Pride Rides logo back there, right there. And you can see it. I'm trying to move it slow so I don't make you guys sick. You can see it right there. Plant Hot Wheel. And then 
from also from 2003 we have the flying aces 2 track t what's that say bacon betty and it looks like she has a cake on a platter and then under bacon betty there's three bombs or bombs that are, look like rankings in a you know like the army i think that says heralda i think is what that says now this one the package is a little yellowed on compared to the other ones it's not yellowed too bad what's the back of this say the eagle squadron i have a a 32 Ford that's got an Eagle Squadron on the side of it. Um, got the airplane there for the Flying Aces, too. Hey, look. That's the 32 Ford that I was just talking about. I've had that car forever. I think that's the only one I have, other than this one, obviously. All right, now we're going to start getting into, um, like, open loose cars. And there's only three in that bag, which tells me I surely bought more than that. But I remembered that I bought a cab over truck. I just couldn't remember what it looked like. It appears to be a Kenworth, although it could be about anything. Peterbilt Freightliner white anything okay, it says summer trucking company and all it says on the bottom is made in china and then a jumble of numbers there and i don't really recognize the wheels enough to make a a guess of who made this And then we have here a Chevy truck, so caved-in Chevy truck here, probably early to mid-80s, about 84, 85 Chevy. Got a little caved-in spot in the uh, roof line there. This happens to be the fire department truck. This also came in a white police tow truck, an orange, I forget what the orange one said, it, it was a tow truck though as well. I think these are Yatmings, they may be something else but I'm pretty sure that's a Yatming. And then here we have the Hot Wheels racing toolbox, and these came with like the race cars in the um, series, you know, like if you bought a, the Valvoline NASCAR, you know, this would have came with it in the set. So this one's dirty, but it, I, th I think it's just dirty. I don't actually think it's beat up all that bad. It's chipped around the edges pretty bad, though. But it does still have the handle. The handle's not all broke or... It's a little twisted, but it's not it's not tore up too terribly bad. So it says Valvoline, Cummins, and Roush Racing. I don't know if this actually ever had a name or if it was just a toolbox. But since Hot Wheels names all of their stuff, it could possibly have a name. Now this year we really hit it big with the Hot Wheels got more than the three that's there <laughs> so we're gonna start off with this truck here the international armored truck here international armored car whatever As you, you can tell by the the hood it's international and if you couldn't it's got their little badge down there if the camera would focus. Then on the side here we've got 
World Armored Transport, WAT. And I have this truck uh, that I've had since I was little. Um, but all the paint fell off of it. And I believe I painted it gray. And it, so it looked like a Brinks Bank truck. But it started out looking like this, and so when I saw this, I thought, Hey, I have that, or used to have that. It just looks different now. So I went and found my younger days version of this truck. And my, I remembered that it had this, I just thought I'd paint it over it, so I didn't say anything when I was talking about it. But, um... EMT, obviously emergency, um, you know, vehicle, um, and, uh, so, I guess my, well, my grandma wrote this, I had her write it on this, and, um, I think, uh, Hot Wheels Dairy Delivery also got a EMT sticker on it, but as you can see, it's painted gunmetal gray and it has google eyes on it and I got as far as painting it and coloring the bumper blue so that it looked like a Brinks bank truck and if you lift up this tape you'll see the red paint that matches the red paint on this truck here There you go. And unfortunately, when Matchbox came back out with this truck, of course, like they always do, when they come back out with something, it gets cheaper. Now it's plastic. I like the metal one better. Whatever. That's why I don't work for them. So, hopefully not everything takes that long. Next we have a uh, uh, 79 Ford from Hot Wheels. 79 Ford. It's got the plastic top on the back of it, which is attached to the tailgate. It looks like it used to have orange flames on it. it. Looks like they're starting to kind of wear off, though. I'm going to angle this camera down. Maybe the lighting will be a little better. See that pretty metallic blue paint on there? It's got orange window. <clears throat> excuse me, orange windows in it. It's not supposed to have black wheels on it, but other than this one, it just about does. Chrome's about all rubbed off of them here another Ford truck here a much newer Ford truck though matchbox die cast construction matchbox die cast construction Obviously, as you can see, this is a much newer Ford, like a 20, uh, this is a, a Super Duty, so they didn't change as much as the pickups. Just says Ford 350, F350, okay, there, 2014, I was going to say 15, but I wasn't quite sure. So, my guess is this had a dump bed on it, but now it does not have any bed on it, so... I can kind of make it whatever I want. We've got some NASCARs here. There's, I think there's one other one in there. We'll start with this one. A Pontiac Grand Prix Kodak Perfect Touch NASCAR. Number four. Now this one's made by Hot Wheels, as you can see here. 
and I just, you know, all, it seems like if you look up a 164th scale Pontiac Grand Prix, it always brings up a NASCAR. Nobody made the, um, uh, the 04 style, this is, what's this say, 03, 20, good grief, 2003 Grand Prix. I like that style, and then the style before that. Um, just think they're really good looking cars, but nobody makes just a normal one. They're all NASCARs. Can't find any models of a 1999 um, Grand Pontiac Grand Prix. Can't find any of the 0304 style either. They're all NASCARs. So I've looked for a long time for one. But anyway, then we got a Monte Carlo here. <clears throat> this is Dale Earnhardt's car. If you were not familiar with that one, I am not familiar with who drives this one. And um, this one's not as well built as this one. This one is made by... If the camera would focus... There is no markings on this. Oh, there, down there. Just says AP. Hmm. I don't know. This has the uh, Brickyard 400 on the roof of the car. GM Performance Parts. I'm, uh, just about everybody has seen pictures of this NASCAR. So, I don't really need to go into too much detail with it. I have a model of this already, but I, this is probably my favorite NASCAR ever, um, in modern terms. So, now we're going to go to a Ford Stepside Motor Force. I think that's a Ford. I don't know what happened to the seats in it, but I... Pounded on my knee, pounded this thing, you know, on my knee, trying to get it, you know, to get the seats to go back where they're supposed to. And they're just kind of stuck there, and now I'm seeing why they won't move. The dashboard is pushed up under where it's supposed to be. So I have to get a little screwdriver and go through there and poke it back in. It says motor force, though there's no markings on this one either as to who made it. But it looks like it is supposed to have a tailgate, but it is not. Um, then we got some police cars here. Some of them, I think, came in the same series. Okay, so here we have... I think these three came in the same series. This is the... Ford Interceptor, Ford Taurus Interceptor, uh, the Marshall, dark green, yeah, Ford Police Interceptor, this is made by Matchbox, and this has the separate light bar on the top, instead of, well, yeah, that is a separate light bar. They don't do this separate light bar anymore. They're all they're all kind of molded into the top of the car, which is too bad. But um, and then here we have another separate light bar car here. This is the I think these were O six um, Crown Vicks. Yeah, 2006 Ford Crown Victoria. Only reason I could guess that was because I, rem I try was trying to remember what hot w or what Matchbox, what you know year the one was that they made. Looks like that decal starting to wear off of that door. Then we got another one here. This one the light bar's a little loose loose on it there. I feel like this is zoomed in. It is zoomed in. 
This one's in a little better shape. This one says Matchbox County Sheriff serving. Come on. It says serving your county. Some, for some reason, the camera won't focus. So the I think that this one, this one, and this one came in the same series because they all have that same kind of decal on the side. So now we have the Ford uh, SUV, Ford Expedition, the 1998 Ford Expedition. I knew it wasn't an Explorer, and that's all I could think of. Uh, this one also, of course, says Matchbox, Matchbox County. This is the Evidence Technician. Sometimes Matchbox will mold something into the trunk. But there, it's, the rear is pretty empty in that one. It's got the kind of off-road type tires on it. And for some reason, the bus does too. This is a Chevy Express uh, cutaway bus. I don't think it's licensed as such. Now. Oh, it is. If it will focus, so you can see. Chevy uh, Transport Bus. From 1998. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, this one happens to be plastic. Um, these, when they first, when Matchbox first came out with this model, they were, the body was metal. You know how they do, when they come back out with something, it ends up being plastic. So there's the back of there, pretty plain. I always laugh when I was looking at this one. It says, do not approach, because this is the prisoner transport bus, so you don't want to approach the prisoners that are in the bus but you can see this one also has the kind of off-road type tires on it now we are gonna go to the national parks trucks I got I think I got three of them here uh, Chevy Avalanche wildfire rescue ground patrol I really enjoy collecting the National Parks um, Service trucks because I've been to a lot of the National Parks, especially out west, so I don't know, it's just kind of fun for me to collect them. This one here, the big Ford F650, I think it was, 550. Ford F-550 Super Duty. This one's the Forest Ranger Fire District. I like the flames. It's got orange windows in it. And all the equipment on the back of the truck here. Then we have a rock crawling truck. I don't know what did Matchbox call this. Off-Road Rider. Which also is in the National Park series for some reason. Forest Ranger Satellite Communications. Park Patrol. Got a bear on it. I guess if you are stranded in the mountains and the only way to get there was by walking or riding in this off-roader. I guess that's what this would be used for. I don't actually think they have any of those, though. So now we have some kind of city, trans city transport vehicles, or city municipal vehicles, I should say. Got the garbage truck here. Now these wheels are not real common on the Matchbox trucks. 
and um, I'm trying to remember if I don't think it's a special series I just I don't think they were very popular they didn't use these wheels very much um, the garbage truck they made a whole bunch of though I have a bunch of different versions of it I always liked it because the compactor could go down into the truck Bedola Eco Resource Processing Recycling for a Better Tomorrow And they called this a 2008 garbage truck. Yeah, that's very information. Then we have the 87, 88 uh, tow truck here, GMC tow truck. 87 GMC wrecker. And I kind of laughed. Um, says Ron's on it. Uh, my grandpa's name is Ron, and he works on cars, so, uh, or, you know, he used to work on cars. He does a little bit still, um, but it was kind of funny that this tow truck said Ron's, so that's why I got this. 1-800 fast tow. I haven't seen this truck before The in, in this paint scheme. I have a whole bunch of this body uh this casting um i thought we had another truck in here but we'll go with this van now the volkswagen minivan panel van delivery truck i guess genuine volkswagen parts at your service Just as licensed by Volkswagen. I forget what they called this van. They made this van because I saw one today. Or one similar to it. But the way that says licensed by Volkswagen, I've always thought, well, maybe they didn't actually make this. But uh, my question was answered today because I, I saw one going down the road. Or one similar to it. Got a... Uh, GMC Savannah cutaway. So it's funny, we've got both versions. We've got the Chevy Express and the GMC Savannah. This one says GMC School Bus. Child Care Learning Center. Visit your local Child Care Learning Center for info. Enroll your child today. And then you got a stop sign there. Now this one's kind of in the transition of this casting was getting cheaper and cheaper uh, this one has a metal body on it and a plastic like the bus part of its plastic now it, when you buy this the base of it is metal and the whole whole truck part of it is plastic And then we have a street sweeper here. Sheffer Street Sweeping. Now Technology Sweeping. And on the old one, old street sweeper, it was much different than this one. The feet came out on it. Or the, not the feet, but the brushes came out on it. This one I don't think they actually come out. They're just kind of wiggly. <clears throat> I, and you probably will recognize this as the move it uh, moving made easy fast and easy because I bought one of these trucks not too long ago uh, except it was really beat up this one happens to be in almost brand new condition it's got a little chip right there but other than that it is 
almost brand new. Door opens up on the back. Got the little skylight in the top there. And then let's pull everything out here. So we have a plastic Ertl truck here. The only metal part on this truck is right here and right here. The rest of it's plastic. Uh, it just says Ertl John Deere licensed product. This is the John Deere uh, payloader scoop shovel, whatever you want to call it. But um, the the scoop the bucket goes up and down and it dumps. I have one that the it goes back like that but it doesn't dump. It's kind of a pointless thing. So this is kind of in between that one and this one's kind of cheaper though. The other one was a little built a little nicer. It just didn't it wasn't as functional. Somebody's picked at the sticker that is the grill on the back. Um, we have a green light out of all these Hot Wheels and Matchbox. We have a green light here. Um, Napa Auto Parts. This has the Indy. It's obviously it's an Indy car. It's got the Indy 500 tires on it. Firestone. And they have the Indy 500 logo there. Number 98. Now this one's not in great shape. Like you can see, this is bent up right here. It's supposed to be flat. Um, it's missing the wing, and the uh, rear part of the car is kind of loose. But uh, the, the green lights Indy cars are very, very detailed, but in being so detailed, they're not always very durable, so that's kind of to be expected. So we got here the Napa <clears throat> Napa Auto Parts car. I know that now Alexander Rossi is driving the, I can't talk, Alexander Rossi's driving the Napa car. I don't know if that's whose this one is or not. I was hoping the camera would focus so that I could read through the zoom of the camera because that's so small I can't read it even with my magnifying glass. We'll just assume it's Rosie's car unless you guys know otherwise and if you do then stick it in the comments. Well, there you go. Got the Range Rover, or the, excuse me, the Land Rover here. Um have this one mint in the package hanging up on the wall this one's far from mint the flags about rubbed off of it as well as the Land Rover logo and the flag is kind of rubbed off wore off in different places around the truck but I like the casting itself so it could I'll, I'll probably just keep it like this but I could Paint it if I feel so inclined. Then we have a NHRA uh, funny car here. Championship NHRA drag racing. Now this car is all plastic, a very lightweight car, but I thought it was cool. This is a key car. You stick a little key in the back of it. And then you push the button and it launches it across the floor. Unfortunately, it doesn't have the key. And the key I have probably won't fit in this. Just a National Hot Rod Association 2002. We don't get to find out who made these for NHRA. Oh well. Then we have a Cleveland Indians... Ford pickup. Major League Baseball says on the front bumper. 
Indians, and it's got the, the Cleveland Indians Indian on the, the Tonho cover on the bed. It's got rubber tires on it. It says 1998 on the tailgate. Now this one is a White Rose collectible, and you can see the first truck I showed you was the, the Hummer, how detailed it was, how I could figure out it wasn't a White Rose because of how detailed it was. Here's a White Rose for you to kind of get an idea of why I said that. You know, I mean, it's not a horrible casting, but... It's far from really detailed. <laughs> 1997 White Rose Collectibles Ford pickup truck. And then we have Elmo driving a dump truck. Let me tell you why I bought this. So first off, it was going to be the same price for me to buy 20 cars as it would to buy 30 cars. And I had 25, so I had to pick out five more. And um, I couldn't really come up with anything else that he had in that box that I didn't either already have or wasn't really interested in. And so I ended up with... Elmo the monster driving a yellow dump truck. And it's not even a functional dump truck. Like the, the dump bed doesn't dump on this. Um, it's made by Mattel. 2001 Mattel Incorporated Sesame Street Sex blah, Sesame Workshop. <laughs> Apparently I can't talk. Now the the yellow part of the truck is die cast. Uh, Elmo is kind of made out of rubber. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but I have it. Got a Jeep Scrambler here. These are pretty cool. Hadn't seen the red one. It's pretty new though, uh, you can tell by the, the wheels that's on it. Hot Wheels hasn't had these wheels out for all that long. A few years maybe, maybe not even that long. It's got an axe with a bunch of logs in the back of it. Pretty cool truck though. Nice chrome base on it. Got a GTO Judge, good old Pontiac. This is probably from about 2011. Or maybe, it could be earlier than that though. Um, the, I, the, it's a 69 Judge, but I mean like, um, I have one of these in the packaging, and it's after, after this style. Um, most of my judges that I have are from 2011, 2012, somewhere in there. So I'm guessing that's when Hot Wheels made this one. Um, it's a 69 Pontiac GTO Judge. Pretty cool car. I'm not wild about the chrome interior, but whatever. Last car here happens to be another key car. Good old Corvette here. I really like the decals on this. They're simple, but they're cool. The red stripes with the Chevy bow tie. This car has rubber tires on it. This car is probably from the 80s or 90s. No markings at all on the bottom of this one. Uh, no key for this one, but I probably have a key that fits it. So I know that video ran pretty long, but um, you guys got to see all the cool cars that I got. So the car videos seem to be more popular than anything else on my channel. So I try to make as many of those as I can. They always take a while, so 
I don't post them very often because I, I just don't have the time to do it between school and then you know activities and stuff after school I just really don't have time to do that you know do the um the videos so I just post whenever I can during the school year in the summer it gets more you know like today tomorrow the next day you know stuff like that but hope you enjoyed this video like comment subscribe for more check out some other videos and I'll see you in the next video.